and at the Wacker ground, England winning the toss and batting first, none for seven. Three there to Gooch, not a convincing shot, but uh, they haven't got room in the scorecard to write down how you've got them. No second slip. Amray is a third man. That's one area of the Indian game that really improved during the summer, their fielding. And that's uh, what Botham's here for, from England's point of view, to get things moving in the first 15 overs. Well, I think it's quite clear from that shot that Ian Botham's had enough of poking around and trying to find the swinging ball. He decided that he'll go and meet it down the pitch. For 16 so far. Oh, that no. could be out, that is out. A beautiful out swinger from Cabell there, but Ian Botham's on his way. I think that was due to a little bit of frustration. Ian Botham trying to give himself a bit of room to uh, hit the ball. A little bit of bounce there again in the Perth wicket, trying to give himself room to hit it too close to him. And a nice easy catch there for Kieran Morey. And England lose their first wicket. Robin Smith on strike, and that's where he likes them. Short and just outside off stump. He's punched that through the covers. And they should pick up three. Now, Robin hits the ball pretty hard, doesn't he, uh, Bruce? And uh, I think he's hit that one pretty well, but he was still about 20 yards short of the boundary. It's a great shot there from Graham Gooch. Just a little too short on this very good Perth wicket. And Gooch is in behind it and has got rid of those shackles and hit a glorious shot just behind square. That uh, third man, not the fastest of uh, fielders. And he's beaten that offside field. Very, very quick outfield here at the Wacker ground. But he cannot afford to be short here in Perth, as Banerjee is finding out. And Banerjee's lack of cricket here, standing him in poor stead. The Sri Lankan umpire signals four. But this is a dangerous period for the Indians. So much good work done by their first three bowls. Well, that's a cracking off drive. So plenty of those in New Zealand. We haven't seen many today, but it's probably the best shot so far in the England innings. Well, another cracking boundary. Give Robin Smith room. We're in danger of getting cluttered through the offside all day long. Now, ah, Graham Gooch is limping a bit here. I don't know what he's done, but... It looks like his knee. His massive hit is that. Short of a length ball that stood up, turned. Robbie Smith waited for it. Well, it's the power of the shot from Robin Smith there and those big boundaries. Great attempt by the fielder, but uh, such a powerful lad when he hits it. Well, that's a very fine 50 by Robin Smith as he waves to his colleagues in the dressing room. Made some glorious shots as his innings has gone on. Well, 
that's what happens when you've got a runner. Everybody was looking at the throw to the stumps while Ian Bolton was 20 yards away running for Graham Gooch. And that's Graham Gooch's 50. They're very useful in his bring them there. He battled through the early part of his ring. India's bowl has held command. He's taken it through now and he's joined Robin Smith as a 50 maker against India in his first World Cup game. Some good running there by the England batsman. That could be out, it is out. Sachin Tendulkar out there at uh, the cover area. Ryan Gooch decided to just go inside out, I think, over cover. Wasn't quite to the pitch. As he does very well indeed this time. I think it might have just turned a bit and he got a thickish outside edge and Tendulkar there taking a very good catch low down. Having said that uh, Ravi just got the yips, I think he's got a, a very important wicket for India because uh, Graham can demolish spinners uh, as we've all seen before. 19 overs left after this and uh, England with a very... Well, that's a, that's a very fine shot indeed to uh, open your account there. A tremendous drive over mid-off. One bounce four. And, uh, Graham Hick opens his account. Four. That could be out, that is out, oh, caught behind. Well, that's... When things aren't going for you, they just don't go for you, do you? We've seen a, a world-class shot from uh, Graham Hick to open his account. And there we are. First delivery plays out and misses. This, uh, he certainly is capable of playing some very, very fine knocks. It's been a good comeback by Banerjee. Gee, that... Uh... <laughs> I mean, that's absolutely fearsome, isn't it? That's an absolutely... I mean, that's gone 100 metres again, and he smashed it away. That's hit pretty well. He's just pitching a bit too short to Banerjee. And fair brother slipping there. Yes, that six took my mind back to Trent Bridge when he smashed a four off Merv Hughes. That was a cut shot. I don't think I've seen one hit harder than that, David. You probably will never see one hit harder again either. And Robin Smith said so many times in deeper. Placement is good. And he's a hard man to bowl to because he's he's trying to do something different all the time, and he's making Capital Dev's job very difficult. Even given that, I have to say it wasn't a great ball from Capital Dev. That's well hit. Base of the fence. Well, English viewers will have seen Neil, uh, <laughs> Neil Fairbrother, Neil Harvey Fairbrother. And the 50 partnership coming in 42 minutes. Beautifully hit again. Srinath, and they'll get an extra one. Oh, that's well taken. In fact, it might have just got out. But, uh, Matt. Chance here for three count. And well taken. Good catch. Never easy, those balls coming over your shoulder. Nice clear blue sky here today at the Wacker. And Neil Fairbrother, who'd just been starting there to open his shoulders to take the attack of the Indian bowlers. Hands high there, perfect catching position. He's quite relieved to see it stick on him. He's caught that one. Azarudin, that is a brilliant catch. And unfortunately, Robin Smith is not going to be the third century maker of the day. Beautifully caught. I thought it was hit right from the middle of the bat. Well, we're talking only a couple of minutes back about Azarudin fielding in that key position just behind square on the offside. He dropped a hard chance from Neil Fairbrother. This time, Robin Smith has hit it straight at him. He's taken this one very, very cleanly, straight into the hands, very cool, very calm, very confident. And it brings Robin Smith's fabulous innings to an end. England, 598.
Well, that's nicely placed. And there you get an example of how quick that outfield is. Might as well wait for someone to throw him back to you down there. Poor football there. Chris Lewis can hit it all around the park. Well, is it that very high, very high, and Banerjee's under it, and that's a fine catch. I think that was Kevin's slower ball, and Chris Lewis went for the big hit down the ground. Banerjee took a very fine catch there down long off, and the Indian supporters love it. Yes, Chris Lewis had set himself, as I thought, to hit this. Just a little slower there, like an off-spinner. He got into it too soon and skied it up in the air. It went up a long, long way. It was never going to go for six. But the long way, great camera work, and caught nice and simply by long off. He slashed that away down the third man, and it's a tremendous bit of fielding there. By Prabhaka, died full length and made a tremendous stop. And field like demons. And again, it's a tremendous shot by Alex Stewart. Short and wide, bad bit of bowling there by Srinath. And it's given Alex Stewart the chance to slice it over gully in between the uh, two outfielders. Into the fourth yes, he's given him width here. At this stage of the game, he shouldn't be giving batsmen width. Bowl straight or bowl it full. Either way, but don't give them width. Particularly on a pitch, it's got a bit of bouncing. Look at that. There's width there. Get some wood on it. Straight over the top of point. You've only got nine fielders. You can't have them everywhere. And Derek Ringle, Pringle skied that. And that's a very, very simple catch there for Srikant. And England lose another wicket the 47th over and the Indian chaps there in their turbans wicked away there daddy well oh, that's another another wicket but I suppose we're in the 40 48th over now but having just lost Derek Pringle I think Alec was a guy that was in and he won't be very happy with that I don't think because it's uh, another wicket and we're licked and England now eight the two, two, three. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's, uh, it's a, a very good bit of cricket there by Kethel Dev. He took his time. I'm not sure what Philip DeFraser was thinking about, but I mean, uh, the ball just went straight down the wicket, straight back to Kethel Dev, and Philip wanted a run. I'm not, I'm not sure what he was thinking about at all. Well, I've been we involved in some funny runouts myself, but I've never tried to run one to the bowler. He's out by a yard oh. now. Again, another silly wicket, and, and we've got the very uh, unwantable sight, really, of Philip Tufton having come to the wicket, Jeffrey. Coming, Philip Somewhere. There he goes down the wicket. He's well bowled by the bowler, and Philip Tufton's coming back for second. And the cat gets in very easily. And that's two runs off the last ball. And England finished there. Total with nine for 235. Well, that's a good performance by both teams. I think England, uh, after the slow start, would be quite pleased with that nine for 235. And yet, in another way, they were thought they probably should have made 250. Uh, but Reeve, the not out batsman, didn't have much opportunity to shine. He was bit at the end, and so did Philip Tufnell partnering him. Graham Gooch had to work very hard for his 51, but got into good form after the early overs. Ian Bolton couldn't get off to a flying start, but he'll get other chances. Robin Smith played absolutely fabulously. Again, was made to struggle with the early bounce and the swing, but uh, once he got into his stride, he really did play some glorious drives. Graham Hick came and went. Neil Fairbrother, very pleased for him. He's had a very little cricket in New Zealand with England. Came along very impishly. Scampered up and down for singles, clipped a few good shots, he'll feel good. Shortly, you'll be entertained by the and then they sort of really well. They made England struggle so hard because of the swing. Never really pitched anything up. They did bowl the odd wide, but uh, on the whole, that was because they were swinging it around. 
Tendulkar was the surprise pack. He's known for 37. Many of us have never seen him bowl. Zend. Shastri is off the mark. That's the sort of shot that uh, Srikanth loves to play over the infield. And it's a stroke that's got him into some sort of trouble against the pace. Not too fussy which direction they go in uh, Srikanth. And that'll do as good as anywhere over the top of the slip cordon. Finally, Shakant lets loose and connects. He's let loose a couple of times, but hasn't really connected properly. And that's the swat he's been looking for. And Shakant takes four. Great strike there. A little bit of width. He does latch onto those very quickly. Shakant. He throws the bat at the ball, doesn't mind where it goes, as long as he gets the ball in the middle of the bat. Oh, another glorious off drive. But England have had uh, mid-off deep for a couple of overs now, they're saving the boundary. That wide ball again. Philip de Freitas, he only wants to get about a foot wider than you want it, and he's onto it like a flash. He just clubs it away behind square. And keep the ball on target. Oh, big shout there, not playing a shot. That is dangerous. Just bowl him an outswing, and that one just angling in. Question of whether it... And there's a gentle breeze. Helping down at Reeve. Well, he thumped that into the fence. Again, just a little bit of width. Plenty of swing there. But if you just get that out swing there, it's set him for a long off running round. I don't know why they don't ball straighter so we can try and make him hit across the line to the onside. Well, he's picked that slower ball. I mentioned about the slower ball. He's picked that easily, waited for it, and clubbed it. And his right hand into that. Christian Machari Shrikant. It's four more. Reminded me of Boyd's here back in 78 <laughs> 9. It's a mouthful after two, that Bruce. Christ. We just call him Chris. And. Uh, it's marvellous, isn't it? Uh, he plays differently in Test cricket. The series here against Australia, the Test series here just uh, finished against Australia, he tended to try and block them a bit and just didn't look like it. Yeah, he, he can't do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's four more, I would say, over square leg. That'll run for four. It's a long way out there, but the outfield's fast. I think the fields will hope he's going to go for four because it's a long way in from there. very effective indeed oh that's up in the air that should be out well caught Bob he loves it well that's Chris Shurkamp all over that is plays two fabulous shots and instead of just uh, trying to knock one back down the pitch he seems to get attuned to playing a <laughs> three Dermot Reeve and that is out. That is a brilliant catch. A magnificent diving catch by Alex Stewart. Sensational stuff. And that's a really important wicket there for England. A great delivery to receive first ball. Just left him off the pitch, bounced. And Alex, two for 63 here at the Wacker. And uh, Azza has got uh, a little duck by him. One ball, what they call a golden duck.
What a magnificent shot. He's just dropped a fraction too short to Freitas. Tendog is rock on the back foot. Glorious shot. That was a very fine shot indeed. We saw Shrikanth play a couple of those, and De Freitas drops just too short again, and he's just over to the off stump in a great position. Oh, he's after them. What a magnificent... It's a push through mid-wicket. They'll run three. It might run for four. With Derek Pringle. They've run four. It's a long boundary out there. That looks really another class shot. He just got himself in the position over by the off stump. There he goes over to the off stump there, just leans into it, but it's very noticeable how straight that bat comes through, and it's gone through straightish mid-wicket there. Another very fine shot. And obviously, what looks like a very classy player. Just a little turn, but slow turn, and it's... Uh... Worked away behind point by Shastri. They'll pick up three. Tendulk is pretty quick. It's too wide. That's a magnificent back cut. That is four runs. Glorious shot from Tendulka. I think uh, with this very quick outfield and the superb timing that that little man's got, I would like to see the back of him very shortly, actually, for England's sake. There we go again, just a bit too wide, but in a great position and uh, rolls the wrists and gets, obviously, a lot of power. With that heavy bat as well, and a quick outfield, rushed over for four. That means he's got a few out as well. Afraid of saving a run there. Long chase for him. It's uh, plenty of territory out there for him to protect. Well, talking about going berserk. Tendulkar finally breaking the shackles there. He's been impatient the last few overs to try and pierce this well set field. Phil Tufnell just trying it down a little bit there, paying the penalty. India, two for 119. Well taken there by Alex Stewart. So once again, just that little bit of movement off the track has done the job for Ian Botham. It's a very good wicket for England at this stage. That's a good shot. That should be four. Straight down the ground. Had a long boundary straight here at the Wacker. They'll pick up two here. It's ricocheted off both them shins, I think. Handy two runs. And that's Ravi Shastri's 50. He's 51, not out. That's the view that young uh, Camberley will have down the pitch. That's the stump vision. And uh, he's out, he's caught. Ryan Hick has taken a great catch. Both of them struck again. Must have got that high on the bat. And Camby leads, he's disappointed. Hick takes the catch, and Camby's disappointed. You can't drive on the up in Perth against the, against the seam. Camby tried it and leaves for three. India in trouble. Unders into the England team working here at the, at the Wacker tonight. And that's over the wicketkeeper's head. Tufnell makes ground from third man. Ravi Shastri takes two from a very thickish edge. But it appears that Ravi, with that back lift, is take two. Well, there's desperation there. Well, they'd be afraid to drop. He's going to run him out. Calamity for Shastri. Great feeling by Philip De Freitas after dropping the catch. Well, there we go. That was total desperation, wasn't it, Jeffrey? He was trying to knock Daffy out the way. 
We've got so far down the wicket, uh, up it goes, just short of the length. Philip de Freitas goes to catch it. Should have perhaps caught it, missed it, but Gravy thinks there's a single there, and, and Daffy redeems himself by, by throwing the stumps down there, full length. And I'm sure that's, uh, that's got to be the final blow, back. Oh, super shot helping it round. Good attempt to feel it, but it was a shot, it was a super shot. Pringle tried to tuck him up, he just paddled it round. It's such a good play. Well, that's a better ball, he's pitched it up. Nearly caught, oh yes, he did. My goodness, that was a good effort. Just by pitching it up, he nearly got a wicket. A fantastic catch by Chris Lewis. I don't think anybody else would have got that close, would they? Ball coming over his shoulders, gets his hands to it, nearly holds it. Oh, and the second attempt. Oh, he's hit that down the pitch. This is I said, I thought he got to get a boundary or two. He used his feet beautifully, Captain Dev. It's up, it's up, it's up. There's a man under it. And it's out. That's the wicked England wanted. The great Kapil there, caught by Philip de Freitas in the deep. He's laughing there, Jeffy, because I think it actually bubbled out a bit there. And he, uh, <laughs> the one he dropped off, Ravi Shastri, off his own bowling, I think that just came out for a bit of air. But he finally clung on to it at the end. And Kapil Dev's out. That's the spot to hit him. Tufnell at fine leg or short fine leg. Someone's going to be run out. And now the question is who's got to go? And Peter McConnell is pointing to uh, Armray and saying he is the one who's got to go. That was a real mix up. Only there. Smith. Good effort. Oh, and here's another mix up. Yeah. And uh, Kieran Moray has been given out. He didn't even bother to look around at the umpire. He was safely home if he hadn't uh, if hadn't been the hesitation. Nor that one. It may have been a little uh, inside edge before it hit the stumps. But Dermot Reeve doing the job here in uh, finishing out with Chris Lewis. To finish off this Indian innings. Beautifully struck. Gooch won't get that. Gooch coming in from long off. And he won't get there. So they've got the two off that ball. Going back at long on. Back, back. And not far enough, it's into the stands. And that helps beautifully here. Well, that really has put the cat amongst the pigeons. No doubt about it. Hugely struck. Very well bowled. Oh, now and it's all over. Ian Botham doesn't take any chances, runs in, takes the bails off himself. And that was a good piece of bowling by Chris Lewis. Banerjee, I think, uh, deciding that he really needed to take the strike, didn't run, and uh, he's been told where he went wrong now by Sunhan. Mate, you should have run. I could, I could have done it. Banerjee, in fact, was forced back onto the back foot by that Chris Lewis. to win it. And they get off to a good start in this competition. Here's the Indian scorecard, all out for 227, with uh, Srinath run out, with uh, four balls remaining in the game. Banerjee, a very good uh, knock there, 25 not out. 
But once again, as India had problems during the summer in the World Series Cup competition, nobody really going on with the job. They've got the start there at the top from Srikanth and Shastri, but uh, no one really going on and getting the big score as good bowling performance from Ian Botham. In fact, Ian Botham was...